What's up everybody? I'm J-Rock. I'm from New Orleans and my brand is Panache. Wow, deputy, deputy. It inspired me to start the brand. Um, I, I moved down here from New Orleans uh, about five years ago and um, I went inside the, gal the gallery and mall um, with all the expensive shit. And um, even though I, I could buy it, I was like, everybody can't afford it. So I thought about, thought about, I was like, how about I make a brand that looks like designer, that you know, that give it, that give off the feeling of designer, but it's affordable for everybody else to purchase. I came up with the name. It is something that um, that gives somebody a confident look or make them feel flamboyant or they got style or they swag or something like that. Um, and I just basically was Googling the names and the name Panache popped up. Um, and so I was like, I like the name of this, so I just rolled with it. Panache means a flamboyant or confident style of man. This specific, uh, specific design, um, I came up this uh, with this. A couple years back, I designed sneakers. I bought this uh, all pale white sneakers and I thought of it as a canvas. It was all white and I just started drawing bubbles on it. And um, the shoes came out, it was tight. Um, so, and then I, once I started doing my brand, I went to scrolling back on pictures on my Facebook and it, the shoes came about. So I was like, damn, I was like, I'm gonna make a design with that on it. And um, the name Bubble Scheme came up. So I created the shirt. Uh, the shirt came off of Pride, and then I also created the shorts as well. My brand has been up and running for three years now. Um, the first year, it was very hard to get my brand started. I had pieces and I had ideas, but none of my pieces, my pieces were matching. So none of the colors were matching. So I had either pants, but I had no shirts. And then I had shirts, but I had no shorts or anything that matched. Everybody wanted um, a set to go with something. It was asking for shirt and pants or a hat or something like that. And I had, I had no, um, I had no sets. Um, so that was like a trial and every year for me. Then uh, year two came. Then I, I kind of started figuring out that people wanted sets and stuff. So then I started put my designs together. Started making hats that matched the shirt, that matched the shorts, or pants, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, year three, I was kind of just taking off for me. I'm moving slow, I'm going at my pace, simply because I'm funding my own, you know, I'm funding my own brand out of pocket, no business loans, nobody handing me nothing, everything is strictly for me. I've been through trial and error already, I'm still learning but making mistakes, um, but it's, it's really going good right now. My definition of out the mud is basically simply getting out and hustling it. Doing whatever you gotta do for yourself. Um, I'm not gonna never say it's not good to ask for a handout, cause sometimes you 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 always need help with something. You just don't know what it is. But as far as getting out and grinding, shaking hands, meeting people, networking with people, trying to let people with a high influence notice your brand and see what you bring to the table. That's my definition of getting on the bud, ten toes deep, and just basically grinding for whatever you want, whatever you want, or whatever you need. The person who inspired me the most is my mama. That's like my that's like my backbone, my rib. She passed away in 2013. That was like my best friend. The person I could always go to for whatever I needed, for any advice. Basically just for, for whatever I needed. She was always my person, my person for me. I lost I had a I had to figure out the way to, a way to get it on my own. That's my motivation for everything that I'm doing right now. As a matter of fact, in November, I got a Nora line that's coming out that's basically dedicated to her. Um, her favorite color was purple. On each of the pieces, you'll see where I'm placing a purple tag in the inside of the, of the pieces that I'm putting out um, to represent her. Um, and that's basically, that's basically who I do it for. How I'm feeling about the website and everything being live right now, um, the feeling is awesome. Um, I've been getting everybody to hit me up about all the gear that I put out. Um, and I'm talking about, not just talking about from my people or uh, the community that I deal with, I'm talking about from worldwide. Um, and it feel good to know that everybody's attracted to what I'm doing. This piece right here is a, um, it's a short, just, um, they really originally originally started off as swim trunks, but the fabric is A1 on these joints, um, and um, 
people actually wearing them as short shorts. Um, so, I mean, if you could look, this the fabric is very, very A1. If you look on the inside, most swim trunks come with the netting inside, and I decided to take the, the net out because I know it's comfortable for most for most females. <clears throat> um, not sort of males, but um, I got a real good feedback on the fabric and the way that the shorts was um, the, the shorts was structured. Um, these actually match the bubble scheme shirt. These are the bubble scheme shorts. Um, so um, those are those. Um, this is my very first short that came out. Um, slash swim trunks. Um, these I call these the multi bear shorts. Um, these blues, I call these uh, the multi bear. These the uh, these are Nipsey blues. <laughs> um, the um, the blues actually came out better than I thought they would on these. Um, so Let's see the details on that. Yeah, um, details. Um, so them joints is smacking. Um, same exact detail as the other ones. Um, these are these are new new to release today, along with the panache pink shorts. I mean the bubble scheme shorts. It, it's a nah, but um, these are do rags. Um, come in the yellow, the golden yellow, and also the nips of blue. Um, match the shorts. I got a shirt that matched the yellow if you want to get that to match. Um, it's the do rags. Um, very good fabric, very um, stretchy and soft for the fit any size head from small to big. Um, um, and it also comes with the seam on the outside. I know a lot of people with waves, um, they tend to turn their do rags on the outside for the um, for the seam to not make a print in the middle of the head. But I put the seam on the outside so it complements everybody. Um, so I came up with the, the logo of the um, brand, which is the bear. Um, basically, I was sitting and I was thinking, thinking, thinking that I needed something to represent the name Panache. Like basically, when you think of a brand like uh, Lacoste, you think of the Gator. When you think of the brand Polo, you think of the Polo Man. Um, it just fit in. It kind of just made sense to go with the name. Um, bear, I can take it and I can do different designs with it. I can do really anything. I can change the I can change the shirt on the belt, I can change the shoes on the belt, I can make a, any color belt, I can make a white belt, black belt, gray belt. I can do so much with the belt, it is versatile. The way, the way that I feel about the support system, it's gradually growing. Um, word of mouth is everything. Um, so once you get one person that's influencing or another person that has a lot of influence on somebody on a social network, um, that speaks on your brand or speaks highly of it, it, it then begins to travel. Um, so the popularity of my brand is gradually growing. I do get support. Um, support, not so much when I first started, but as I put out different designs and different graphics on the internet and I talk about the brand, um, even when I put myself in my clothes and I promoted myself with me being inside my clothes, people tend to attract be attracted to it more. Um, so yeah, the support is everything. As far as my family, my friends, they are my number one supporters. Like my family and my friends. Like they're my number one supporters. I just had one of my good friends way in Kuwait. She just bought every single piece that was on my line right now. I see myself in the future with my brand. I see it being one of the biggest brands in the entire world. Um, and I'm not saying that just to say that um, you're supposed to speak highly, but I really mean what I'm saying. Um, and I say that because you really don't get a lot of lesbian females that's creating the substance of the brand that I'm bringing right now. With the quality, uh, with the designs that I'm bringing, you really get that from a lot of male and this male-dominated industry. Um, so to have everybody around me attracted to uh, everybody around being attracted to what I'm doing, I see it growing tremendous, tremendously across the world. The advice I would give the next person that's chasing the dream, chasing the dream, and going after their brand would be to just keep hustling. Um, source out everything you're doing. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to get out and get in the street and hustle for everything that you need to get. Um, don't get discouraged if something may go if something may go wrong. It's gonna be trial and error. Um, you're gonna take L's. You know what I'm saying? I took L's. Um, you, you just gotta keep going. 
Um, even if you feel like nobody's supporting you, keep going. They may not be supporting you, but trust me, they watching. You know what I'm saying? Like, they talking about it as, as some sort of, in sort of matter. Just keep going, keep hustling, be motivated. Um, you know what I'm saying? Be around people that's that's inspiring, you know what I'm saying? That's doing the same thing you're doing and want to see you grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, so just, that's that's the best advice I can give to you. My name is J-Rock. You can catch me on Instagram at um, DJ J Rock. My business page is Panache9Co. Make sure y'all follow me and keep tabs on me. We rocking without the mud. Make sure y'all stay tuned for what's coming next.